No doubt at this point you're familiar with the uh, New Meets website. We're going to improve it by adding some PHP. The first step to do that is actually simply to file save as instead of index.html, index.php. The any file that has PHP in it needs to have that .php so that the server knows what to do with it, knows that it has some PHP hiding in it that may need some processing. Now for now there is no PHP hiding in it and if we drop it in here it still looks pretty much the same. Um, but let's go ahead and add in some PHP. Let's, uh, let's just do a, a quick section here, a new paragraph. So we're going to add in not a tag but an indicator of where PHP starts and where it ends. You can do this from the very beginning, you can do it in pieces. Here I'm doing it right in the middle of the file, I'm just going to stick some PHP in there. I'm going to use the echo statement and we're going to put in a p and hello comma and actually I'll stop there and then I'll do another state echo statement world all right so a quick couple of quick notes here uh, PHP is made up of a number of statements. Traditionally, we put them on separate lines. At the end of each statement, you have a semicolon, which says I'm pretty much done here. That might look familiar from CSS. Um, so what this should do, oh, I forgot my close tag, is print out hello world into the HTML. So basically, anything you do in PHP is used to create HTML. So I'm going to save this, and then I will refresh over here. And, ah, that's a mess. A quick note here, you can't just do what we've done before with HTML and CSS because P the browser does not know what to do with PHP. Browsers cannot handle PHP. PHP is designed to be handled only by the server. So in order to do anything with this, we're going to need to um, move our site up to the server. So let's go ahead and just put it up here. I've set up a little bit of space at 505d.quicm.net and we've put up strange meets. Um, just to make sure that there is no ambiguity, right now we have two index pages, index.html and index.php. I'm going to get rid of index.html. And now when we go to we have our hello world. If we look at the source, we'll view source. You'll see that it actually just creates hello world. We see no PHP because the server has generated the HTML.